Okay, so last week we had the combining of all those different elements, phrasing and articulation. Today we want to launch into a new mode called the Lydian mode. So we've done the Mixolydian, we've done the Dorian, we've done the major scale, Ionian. We're still in the key of G. We've got one sharp, F sharp. All right, Lydian is the fourth mode of the major scale and it's got a characteristic all of its own. Let's put it in root position, uh, well, in the G position, so we're going C, D, E, F sharp, there it is, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. G, A, B, C, okay, C Lydian. So we can play it there, but we're going to play it up here, C note on the guitar, as we know, it's up here, fret 8 on the E string. The Lydian shape, it's the same as the major scale shape, except the fourth note is sharpened. One, two, three, normally four is here, which is F. Obviously, we're in the key of G, okay? So we need to sharpen the F. So let's put a metronome on. And... All right, I'm gonna walk you through it. So we've got C, on the guitar. We shouldn't have to finger stretch or shift positions. Okay, so <clears throat> we need to put this in context. One of the contexts that's used is when you've got a C chord followed by a D chord. quite a few songs where you've got a section of C to D, C to D, C to D. We call that C Lydian. All right. And so <clears throat> there's a lot of opportunity to use our techniques. Bending, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, vibrato, double stops. Okay. And it, it's got kind of a dreamy kind of quality the Lydian scale, and so I'll uh, demonstrate, let's try this, there we go.
So, <coughs> we've got a bunch of stuff we can do there using the C Lydian scale. A routine that we want to walk through like we do with all the modes. Crotchets, quavers, uh, played in thirds, played with triplets, okay. The thirds, we'll just walk through that for a minute. We're going, we do this with the G major scale so we can adapt it easily for the C Lydian. Okay, so <clears throat> C Lydian scale. Now, because we know that it's all the same notes, it's a G major scale, but it's in a different context. The thing we want to do today is using our techniques of uh, creating a motif, all right, imitating ourselves using vibrato, slides, hammer ons, pull offs. Okay, we want to go between the C Lydian and the D Mixer Lydian. Okay, so we've got a bit more to create with here, rather than being stuck in one position. So, <clears throat> we've got this uh, backing track of C to a type of D. You can play any type of D, but the bass is staying on the C pretty much. <clears throat> so, jam along with me. I'm going to play phrases in 7th position, and then I'm going to move them up to ninth position for the Mixolydian. Alright, let me bring this up. And <clears throat> before we go any further, let's check out tuning. We should have done that to start with. Here is D. A. E. G. B. E. Alright. <clears throat> now I'm going to configure my amp and bring in some overdrive. So we've got some singing sustain. Play a phrase and repeat it. Listen out for it. Imitate what I've got. Okay. So we've got call and response. Here I am in seventh position.
Okay, now I want to take that idea and move it up to... Response element happening, and we're we're going through Mixolydian, Lydian, Dorian, and Ionian. <clears throat> there's there's a lot of ground to cover, but that's going to get us started. Listen out, imitate the phrases, always check your techniques. Alternate picking, thumb on the back of the neck unless you're doing a bend. <laughs> So that's what I want you to do is go through this, pause it. If you want to hear a certain phrase, email me if there's things that you're not sure about. And really, really work hard with the metronome and backing track so that our picking syncs up with the beat. Okay? So we're playing in really, really solid time. All right. 